And so, you know, I would like to start off with the proceedings and I will put it on our special guest, Nick. You know, Nick would be the best person to answer this. What about this great thing about college test in America? How do you define that great college experience in America? Or for subcontinent players who want to make it big, who want to actually travel and take up that college tennis scholarship, how would you say that what this college tennis in America as an experience brings about, Nick? Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, I think from my perspective, uh, just as it would be like for me to go uh, overseas or to another country to experience uh, what the world has, coming over to America to play uh, at the college level does expand that worldview. It expands uh, culture. Uh, it allows you to see different aspects of, of what is out there academically, athletically, uh, culturally as well. Uh, and I, I think it helps to well-round someone's experiences. So especially as an athlete, you may grow up on a certain surface, you may grow up in a certain climate, uh, you may grow up playing a certain style uh, of tennis. And, and college uh, in America is, is one that allows you to play <clears throat> different styles, different surfaces, uh, depending upon where you play. You know, me playing a lot of indoor tennis on hard courts, right? You may be playing a lot of outdoor tennis uh, down south, right? In uh, a very similar hard court surface, but playing outside is, is different, right? You may play some uh, different surfaces. And also you play different players. You know, when, uh, when I was coaching on my team, I had, uh, when I was at Marquette, I had three different nationalities uh, outside of the U.S. And then when I was at Minnesota, I had uh, three as well. So you get to play different people. You get to, to engage with different people on your team, uh, which is a major part of it. Uh, different coaching styles, you just see different things as well. So that's that's a pretty significant piece uh, right there. Wonderful. Great insights, Nick. Arsh, would you like to add something to what Nick says about the great college experience? You have been a player with Minnesota and you did so well uh, and then also started your professional journey after that. So something that you would want to tell us about the great college experience that you had. Sure, sure. Uh, welcome, Nick. Thanks for joining us from the U.S. Uh, great to have you. Uh, yeah, I really like what Nick said about the global experience that you get. It really is a very international feel. And, um, you know, to me, too, uh, transitioning from India and going to the U.S., getting used to being in a different culture, in a, in a different country, uh, we had about uh, five or six different nationalities on our team. So I think that adaptability and the entire global experience that you get. And I feel in my case, you know, it makes you uh, learn about the world. And also from a tennis standpoint, it, the mental toughness, you know, because I moved from Mumbai to Minneapolis. Uh, and there, there can't be two different cities, right? You've got uh, Mumbai from a weather standpoint, very hot and humid. And Minneapolis, one of the coldest cities in the world. So for me, even the weather was such a big change. But I had to get used to it. I had to adapt. I had to grow. And that, uh, I believe, made me mentally strong uh, and also physically strong. So I think there are so many benefits uh, to that experience. Wonderful, wonderful. And Rinok, uh, the champion player from Sri Lanka, who's, who's had a great college experience. Well, something that you would want to add up, Rinok. Over to you. Uh, yeah, um, thanks, Prasang. Uh, yeah, for me, actually, it was, a, you know, it, it was a way of kind of extending my tennis career. Uh, in Sri Lanka, after the juniors, uh, there aren't too many uh, academies or programs that kind of work with players after the juniors. So this is a way to kind of extend my tennis career. I mean, you get four years of great competition at like the futures level, pretty much. Uh, and I played in, in Southern California. So, you know, we played a very, very tough schedule with uh, schools like USC, UCLA. We played Stanford, we played Georgia. Uh, so it was, for me, it was a, a great experience. And... Uh, I got the opportunity to play against some very good players. Um, and, and we played a full schedule. So we had like 25 matches in the, in the normal season. And then in the off season, we had the invitationals, we had the regionals. So, you know, you're playing maybe 40, 50 matches a year uh, at a very high level. And, uh, you know, you get free training, you, uh, you get to use courts, you get to travel for free. And so I think it's like a, uh, a package that is really hard to turn down, you know. Mm, great, great, great insights, Renata.